two of the Extreme Sailing Series in Qingdao, and a dazzling opening ceremony kick-started the action. Act 2, China, we are hoping to improve on our performance in Muscat uh, and show, show the guys what we can really achieve. Day 2 game plan for us is really go out there and uh, try and just put together another good consistent day. We have uh, good weather conditions, sailing conditions today and we expect a real rising action today. You just don't know what can happen in these boats and um, that's when all the experience sort of comes in and um, you got to back each other 100%. Hello. Hello. Day two was action packed once again. Luna Rossa started the day well and won the first race, but group Edmund de Rothschild from France fought back in race two. We improved our level from yesterday, which is good. Uh, that was the goal of the day, sell better, uh, behave better on the boat, be smarter, and uh, let's keep going like this for the next three days. By the third race of the day, it was Team Extreme's turn to shine. They took line honours with the Mayor of Qingdao on board. We had the major from um, Shindao on board and we won the first race in our circuit, so we are very happy about this. Red Bull Extreme Racing won the final race of the day and sat firmly at the top of the leaderboard. I think we had some problems today with the sheets and, and some maneuvers, but uh, overall it's really good. I mean, uh, we are performing good and that's fine. But their glory was short-lived as Emirates Team New Zealand regained first place after winning a last-minute protest right at the end of the day. They now lead Act 2. Really happy, yeah. It's nice to feel like we're sailing well. Um, you know, I think we're taking um, the opportunities when they're there. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's good. That's it from Day 2 here in Qingdao. More action tomorrow when the stadium sailing begins. <laughs>